And last but not least, uh, Healthcare Can, Paul Emile Cloutier, uh, will you be speaking for the delegation? Yes, I will be. Very good. The, uh, the floor is yours for five minutes. Welcome. Mr. Chair, members of the committee, my fellow presenters, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to you today. And I am joined by my colleague, Elaine, Elaine Watson, who is the Chief Human Resources Officer at Covenant Health in Alberta, one of Canada's largest Catholic healthcare providers. Ms. Watson is also the co-chair of the Healthcare Can Health Human Resources Advisory Committee and will be available to answer many of the questions that you will have. As the national organization representing hospitals, health research institutes and healthcare organizations, what I repeatedly hear from health leaders is that human resources is the number one challenge facing healthcare organizations right across Canada today. It needs to be addressed as quickly as possible. Because healthcare and its people and is a people business and healthcare workers are the foundation of our health system. I commend the committee for taking the time and to study this important issue, uh, which has been neglected for far too long. Health workers are more than, than nurses, physicians, and personnel support workers. They also include support, custodial, and administrative staff. They also include researchers, the lab techs, and leadership teams, and all of these people are needed for the health system to function and deliver quality care to Canadians. So when we look to develop health workforce solutions, we must consider all these people rather than take a silo approach by profession. It has to be a multi-professional approach. The exhaustion and burnout felt by too many healthcare workers due to the pandemic has made a previously tenuous, tenuous situation far more critical today. There are job vacancies throughout the entire system and likely more to come once the pandemic subsides. Many healthcare workers are choosing to retire earlier, move to less demanding roles in the health system, or leave the system entirely. While the waves of the pandemic increased demand on the system, healthcare needs remain even, even once the worst of COVID-19 re, uh, recedes. There is still heightened demand on the system as healthcare workers deal with medical procedures, backlogs, caring for people who have delayed treatment and who come in sicker. The threat, the, the treating of the population that is live, living much longer and often with more complex and chronic conditions. Mr. Chair, we must th rethink our entire health system and address health human resources challenges must be central to this to ensure the more, a more resilient system that can respond to people care's need. We need innovative short-term and long-term solutions to address health workforce concerns. Having the right mix and number of healthcare workers is in the right place at the right time to meet the needs of people across Canada is paramount. Healthcare Canada is recommending that the federal government work on the following. ...is to improve the immigration process to better leverage the skills in newcomers to help meet existing health system needs over the short and medium term. The second is to collaborate with other levels of government, regulators and educational institutions to increase the number of Canadian trained healthcare professionals in the right roles to meet long-term needs. The third one is to collaborate with provincial and territorial governments and healthcare organizations across the country to support the health, wellness, safety, and resiliency of the healthcare workforce. This could include increased federal investment in mental health and wellness research program and resource specific to healthcare workers. The last one is to establish a pan-Canadian health workforce agency responsible for strategic and standardized health workforce data gathering, research and planning to help us better understand the current workforce 
and their and its future needs. This agency could work with provincial and territorial governments, regulators, and healthcare stakeholders using the information it collects to develop and implement strategies to address systemic health workforce concerns. Les Canadiens attendent que le Canadians are waiting for the federal government to play a leadership role and to address these issues in collaboration with the provinces, territories and all health care stakeholders. Clearly no longer an option. Failing to act now will lead to lower quality care, longer wait times and worse health outcomes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cloutier.